رب کل غنی یوز الرحم اینڈ یور لارڈ از سیلف سفیشینٹ ہی ڈزنٹ نیڈ اینی تھنگ ہی ڈزنٹ نیڈ یور سروس اف یو سرو ہم اف یو اوبے ہم ول دی بینیفٹ از فار یور اون سیلف ہی ڈزنٹ نیڈ اینی تھنگ ہی ڈزنٹ اسٹینڈ ان اینی ان نیڈ آف اینی تھنگ رب کل غنی یوز الرحم اینڈ ہی از دی لارڈ آف مرسی ان یشا یوز ہپ کم اف ہی سو لائکس He can make you perish, all of you, all oh, humans and jinns. He can make you perish. Do away with you. Wa yastakhlif min baalikum. And then he can bring as successors for you. Ma yasha, whatever he will like. Kama anshaakum min zurriyate qawmin akhareen. As he has raised you from the progeny of a people. other people who have perished who had gone you know the people of hud the nation of ad they actually were a remnants of the people of nuh alayhi salatu wassalam from there they sprang into and they flourished into a very big nation in the same way samud they were a people a nation who started from remnants a few mu'minin believers who were said by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when the whole of the people of hud the nation of ad was destroyed so generation after generation and nations after nations but there is a possibility in this verse in this aya people who believe that the theory of evolution is compatible with quran i don't want to go into this controversy whether it is correct or wrong but i want to point out there have been people and there are people that think that the evolution theory not the theory of darwin evolution is something else darwinian theory of evolution evolution is something else but essentially evolution is compatible with the teachings of the quran here this ayah can mean kama anshaakum min zurriyati qaumin akhareen as he has created you raised you from another species a species of animals from that spring another species from that another species and so many species we know have perished where are those dinosaurs gone such big animals some giant animals gone you find their skeletons that means they were there but they have gone so allah subhanahu wa taala has been producing species from other species and then these the the former species they just vanished they were destroyed So it can happen again, the Sayyid says. We can make you perish and bring another creation in your place. إِنَّمَا تُوَعَدُونَ لَآتٍ وَمَانْ تُمِّ مُوَجَزِينَ Certainly what you are being promised is to come. It will come. Don't have any doubts. Don't harbor any doubts in your minds. It will come. وَمَانْ تُمِّ مُوَجَزِينَ And you won't be able to defeat Allah. to frustrate allah to escape from his grip from his grip you won't be able to escape qul ya qaumi amalu ala makanatikum inni amil now this is a challenge from muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know this i told you the, these surahs surah al anam as well as surah al araf they were revealed just before hijrah you know the conflict between muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and sahaba ikram on the one side and you know the pagans and the idolaters of makkah on the other side that had reached its zenith so at this stage the prophet has been asked to throw an open challenge qul ya qaum amalu ala makanatikum say to them o muhammad oh my nation do whatever you can do strive the hardest that you can strive your utmost to stop me and my dawa and my call in nihamil i'll also try my best sawfa ta'lamuna man takunu lahu aqibatu ad-dar very soon you will come to know for whom will be the good end of the eternal abode innahu la yuflihu zalimun certainly the evil doers are not going to be successful This is a challenging tone. Amalu ala makanatikum inni amil. 
وجال اللہ مما ذرا من الحر سے ولا نام نصیب آ ناؤ دیر آر کمنگ تھری فور تھنگس دیز ور دیئر سپرسٹیشنس دے ہیڈ اے شری آف دیئر اون کنکاکٹیڈ فورسڈ اینڈ دے سیڈ دیٹ دس ہیز بین گیون ٹو اس بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی تھرو اور فور فادرس اور فور فادرس ہیو بین ڈوئنگ اٹ سو اٹ از کمنگ فرام اللہ بٹ اے فیو تھنگس ریگارڈنگ دیئر اون شری آف وجال اللہ مما ذرا من الحر سے ولا نام نصیب آ اینڈ دے فکس فار اللہ آلسو a part of their charity from amongst the crop as well as the animals that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. They believed in Allah, I told you. They were mushriks. They believed in Allah and along with Allah, small other gods. So they had some part of the charity reserved for Allah. فَقَالُوا هَذَا لِلَّهِ بِذَعْمِهِمْ And they thought And they said, according to their own belief, this is for Allah. This we keep for Allah. Wahaza li shurakaida, and this is for our associate gods. We have to please them also. If they get angry from us, we will be doomed. Now the the most you know interesting thing is, fama kana li shurakai him fala yasiru illallah. What they reserve for their associate god, it cannot go towards Allah. It cannot join, it cannot be added to the portion that they have reserved for Allah. What they had reserved for Allah, it is added to the portion of the associates. Very bad and evil what they are doing. Now what was the reason? Although they thought that Allah is bigger, highest, and these gods, gods and goddesses which we are worshipping, they are smaller ones. But you know, they fear the smaller ones more. Because if you take the case of a villager, for example, he knows that there is a head of the state also. But he has never to deal with him. He is dealing with the patwari. You know, the lowest revenue officers or officials, he has to deal with them. They can remit their revenues and etc. and etc. So actually they have to fear them, not the head of the state. There is the head of the state, no doubt they know. But actually they fear more the lowest, you know, officials. In the same way, although they believed in Allah, but actually they wanted more to please these lower gods, smaller gods. So the portion reserved for, the, for the, their associate gods could go to the, couldn't go to the portion of, the, of, of Allah, but the portion fit for Allah could be mixed with that. Second, وَكَذَلِكَ زَيَّنَ لِكَسِيرِ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ قَتْلَ أَوْلَادِهِمْ شُرَكَاهُمْ In the same manner, some of their associate gods have made it very beautiful for them to kill their offsprings. They presented their offsprings also as a gift to their gods and goddesses. Just as they are giving some gift to their gods and goddesses from the crop. From the animals, in the same way, killing their offsprings, sons, to please some god or goddess. Le yurduhum, these associate gods, you know, they are killing their offspring for them, so that they make them perish, destroy them. Wale yalbisu alehim dinahum, and they have made them confused about their religion. What they are doing? وَلَوْشَاءَ اللَّهُ مَا فَعَلُوهُ And had Allah decreed, they, would, they couldn't have done so. But because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you the option, freedom of choice. You have been given this life as a testing period. فَزَرْهُمْ وَمَا يَفْتَمُونَ So just ignore them. Just leave them alone and what they are forging. All these are forged ideas. There's no, there's no, you know, documentary proof. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them these instructions. وَقَالُوا هَذَيْ third. This is their third superstition. وَقَالُوا هَذَيْ عَامٌ وَحَرْسٌ حِجْرٌ And they fixed, you know, some of their animals, cattle and their crops. They are forbidden. They are reserved. لَا يَقْعَمُهَا إِلَّا مَنْ نَشَاءَ بِزَعْمِهِمْ You know, from this field or crop, nobody can eat anything. 
except you know they had a list of their own only they can have these things and likewise some of the cattle wa an'amun hurrama zuhuruha and they also fixed some cattle whose backs were forbidden forbidden from either you know to do you go travel on their backs to ride them or carrying loads no these these animals they are dedicated to such and such idols to such and such gods and goddesses now you can't touch them wa an'amun la yazkurun asmallahi alayha iftiran alay and then they had fixed certain cattle we can't take the name of allah while sacrificing them because we have you know devoted them to such and such gods and goddesses now allah's name cannot be taken all these things were concocted iftiran alay they had concocted these things invented these things but then they they were saying that these things are from allah sayajzihim bima kanu yaftarun allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will very soon recompense them reward them punish them from what concoctions they were doing wa qalu ma fi butun hadhil anam khalisatun li zukurina another one and they say that whatever is in the wombs of these cattle this she sheep or she goats or she cow qalu ma fi hadhil wa fi butun hadhil anam khalisatun li zukurina it is exclusively for our males wa muharramun ala azwajina and it is forbidden our wives cannot take it cannot eat from it wa yakul maitatan and if it is born dead fa hum fi shuraka then both of them males and females could eat it sa yajzihim wasfahum allah subhanahu wa taala will very soon recompense them for all these things allegations that they have made against allah subhanahu wa taala innahu hakimun alim verily he is all wise all knowing